Welcome to Electro Online. Have you ever wondered where the atoms of our body came from? And for that matter, the atoms that make up the Earth? Because once upon a time, they did not exist. So where did it come from? Well, let's go back in history and think about what the galaxy, or I should say what the universe looked like a long time ago. It was made up of stars that are combined into what we call galaxies. But those stars in those galaxies were primarily made up of hydrogen and helium. Those were the two most common components of the universe. And the other elements on the periodic table, by and large, did not exist. There might have been a little bit of lithium, but it was more than 99.999% hydrogen and helium. And of course, our bodies and the Earth are made up of many other elements as well that did not exist in the very beginning of the universe. Matter of fact, when we go back five billion years, the sun didn't exist, the earth didn't exist, and the atoms that make up our bodies and the earth did not exist. So where did it come from? Well, it turns out they come from a star, a very special kind of star, a supermassive star that at the end of its life cycle explodes in what we call a type two supernova. That happens when the the core of the star continues to build up heavier and heavier elements through a nuclear fusion process until the entire core fills full of iron. And the interesting part about iron is that once the core of a star, and that only happens in supermassive stars, our sun will never do that, those are very rare stars. Well, when those cores fill up with iron, iron cannot be fused into the next heavy element and give off energy. It actually will absorb energy. So when that star tries to tries to fuse iron into the next heavy element, like cobalt and zinc, well, it turns out energy is taken out of the core and the whole core collapses. And when that happens, the whole star collapses in on the core. And when that happens, so much heat is generated that all the other elements on the peri periodic table are fused in a very short period of time, in a matter of moments. A giant explosion that then spreads all that material all over the region of the galaxy where that occurs. Well, that happened about four and a half billion years ago. And during that time, all that material then combined with other nebulas, and those nebulas that are continuously forming stars, at that moment began to form the sun in our solar system. So our sun, the Earth, and all the other planets in the solar system, the comets, the asteroids, all them, were made from that leftover explosion that mingled in with the nebulas that were in existence at the time. But the nebulas are typically hydrogen and helium, but they got infused by that massive quantity of all the other elements in the periodic table, uh, like uh, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, silicon, potassium, oh, sulfur, silicon, potassium, aluminum, iron, zinc, and many, many more, all formed at that massive explosion. And that is what currently makes up the Earth and our bodies. We wouldn't exist, the Earth wouldn't exist, if it hadn't been for that explosion that happened about four and a half billion years ago that provided all the materials to make up a planet like the Earth with a solid surface made up of typically silicon dioxide, which is the primary part of the crust, and lots of metal, the magma, everything is made up of the materials that was made up in the explosion, including the vast majority of the elements and atoms in our bodies. So, if it wasn't for the explosion, I wouldn't be standing here making this video, and you wouldn't be sitting there listening to this video. It all began in that massive explosion that created the atoms that currently make up our bodies and the Earth. You're not going to sit here behind that. And you wouldn't have to sit there filming the videos. That's right. And, doing all the <laughs> and editing, and producing, and everything else. That's right. 